So today I want to run through 10 fragrance clones that I personally am super glad to have around and these play a big role in my collection, believe it or not. I've kind of explained this before on the channel, my approach to clones, because I usually do have the original of what the fragrance is cloning, right? I have a fragrance channel. It's kind of my responsibility to have this stuff. However, I do have to test a lot of things. I have to wear a lot of different things uh, as part of this. And so sometimes if I'm in the mood for, let's say, you know, a Tom Ford private blend, but I know I'm gonna be taking a shower midday, washing it off so that way I can try something new that I'm gonna be getting in the mail later on that day to test, I don't necessarily wanna spray on a two, $300, $400 private blend only to wash it off five hours later when it still has plenty of life left. In that situation, I'd pick up a clone and wear that one. Going to the pool, going to the lake, vacations, that sort of thing, I'll take clones with me. That way, one, I don't want to worry about losing or breaking the bottle, and two, if I'm getting wet, consistently getting washed off, that way I don't have to worry about wasting that. Like I said, clones have a lot of uses beyond just not having to spend the money on the original. Even if you have the original, you could still benefit from owning a few of these. It's really kind of nice. So for me, these are some of my favorites. I love each and every one of these. I think they're fantastic iterations of that original DNA and they're really impressive and all very affordable, especially when compared up against the real deal. So I will provide links to these down below, so that way as I reference prices throughout the video, you can get these at said prices. Uh, prices are ballpark, I get comments all the time, oh, check your prices before you make the video. People usually tend to forget that, believe it or not, prices can change, discount codes can change, and so if I say it's $24 today, it might be 27 a week from now when you're watching the video, or even a couple days after the video goes live, so do keep that in mind. Deals will be going up on the community tab all day long, every single day, but let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I wanna start off with Latafa Woody Oud. Now this is Maison Alhambra, as you can see on the bottom, but this is a subsidiary of Latafa. So probably doesn't take you too much to figure out that this is an Oud Wood clone by Tom Ford. That one is a great scent. It's kind of one of the private blend staples. Pretty much everybody has Oud Wood. I would say like Oud Wood and Tobacco Vanille two of the heavy hitters, followed by like Tuscan leather or something. Uh, anyone who knows Tom Ford Private Blends knows Oud Wood. But you'll also know that it's about the farthest thing you can get from cheap. Uh, Oud Wood Intense is also really, really nice, but even more expensive and much harder to get than the, even the original. And so what I like about this is that it gives me that Oud Wood DNA. I even get bits and pieces of Oud Wood Intense in here as well. I just really like this one a lot. It has a lot of uses and I think this is about $24. So my example there a second ago that I was rambling on about fits the price of this one. Next up, we have Barouge Perlador. So this is a clone of Parfums de Marly Carlisle, which is one of my favorite Parfums de Marly. Coincidentally, it's also one of the most expensive. It was one of the last Parfums de Marly I ever bought because of that price point. It was just one of those deals where I picked up Layton, picked up Sedley, I picked up Percival, Herod, I mean, basically all of them, all the main ones anyway, and I was putting off Carlisle, kept pushing it back and pushing it back because one, it's expensive, and two, there for a while, it was sold out on discounters often, and I definitely wasn't gonna pay retail. Finally, I bit the bullet, and it's one of those things where I wish I would have gotten that one first, or much earlier on, because it's one of my favorites. I love how it smells. It's all about the patchouli, vanilla, um, some tonka bean. It kind of smells a little bit like Red Tobacco by Mancera, or Mystery Tobacco by Carolina Herrera, something along those lines, but less tobacco forward, more vanilla and, and kind of uh, you know woody forward from the patchouli and almost a little bit chocolatey as well. It smells great, and Barouge Perlador, comes in at a little bit more of a higher price at usually $60 or so, $59, $60. So it's more premium clone, but when you compare it to the Parfums de Marley, you're still talking about huge, huge savings. And this stuff is nothing shy of impressive. It's about as close as you can get to Carlisle, and it's a well-done clone. Let's move on to Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. Yeah, that's a whole lot. So when you're wearing this one out and about, you gotta choose. Someone asks you what you're wearing because it probably will happen. 
what do you tell them? Do you ramble off this whole name and they probably act like, they're like, oh yeah, I got that. And they're really like, I have no idea what this dude just said. Do you tell them it's Aventus? Let me know in the comments. What do you tell people when you're wearing Club de Nui Intense Man, especially one of these where the name is now significantly longer? Uh, but I digress. What I like so much about this, coming from someone who has multiple bottles of Aventus, a lifetime supply, is it's smoky. None of my Aventus bottles are truly smoky. The oldest bottle I have is a mystery batch, and even that doesn't have much smoke. It's the first, like the fire hose style atomizer, so I know it's old. Um, but beyond that, the oldest one is like a 2016, right? And just over the years, it's gotten less smoky and less smoky because they've had to reformulate it due to restrictions. And so now it just really isn't the same, okay? But this, has more of that birch tar smokiness, which is what made Aventus Aventus back when it first came out, you know, in 2010, 11, 12, whatever. And so that's what I kind of reach for when I'm going for this. If I want just a smokier Aventus, maybe for the cooler weather, and I want, you know, just something with a little bit more power, I'll go for this, right? It's 50, $60 on discounters when in stock. Aventus, significantly more expensive. Still love it, but it is getting harder to recommend these days. And I just typically wear that one for summertime because it's much fruitier and this has a lot more depth going on. Next up, we have Super Crush by Paris Corner. So I did a review on this one recently and this is a clone of Instant Crush. No surprise there. Name, bottle, pretty much tells you all you need to know. What I like about this is that it's less oody <laughs> less oud forward than super or uh, instant crush rather it's going to get mixed up easily less oud than instant crush uh, i still think instant crush is a great scent i think when you're talking niche the price performance ratio is just off the chain i mean it's one of the better ones out there mancera in general is but i like that this one is a little bit more sweet and focused on just again sweetness rather than a good heavy dose of oud like the mancera has uh, another great one from the brand is uh, Cedrat Essence, which is a clone of Cedrat Boise. Given that I have Cedrat Boise uh, and Intense Cedrat Boise, quite a bit of it, I wanted to go ahead and just throw this one in because I think that I, this is one of the situations where I actually like the clone better than the scent that it's trying to clone. Cedrat Essence compared to Cedrat Boise, I don't necessarily like it better. I do like having it around for price savings and washing it off two hours later if I want to, but this is an instance where I actually like this better, and I think that's pretty cool. I gotta have a Layton clone in my collection. Again, guys, believe it or not, I'm cheap. I really just am, and it's stupid because even my bottles of Carlisle and Layton, 125 ml bottles, even if I wore it a lot, it would still take me a long time to run through it. But again, like I said, wearing something to bed, wearing something and then taking a shower in the middle of the day or gonna be sweating it off or whatever, I just like my clothes. So uh, for this instance, I just chose White and Black by Lalique. It's a limited edition, so I would pick one of these up if you have any sort of interest while you can. Detour Noir is another great one. It's often out of stock. This one's easier to get, and like I said, for me, either of them will do the job just fine. I just want a latent clone in my collection. I like having it around, and so I just kind of pick whichever one I'm feeling. Next up, we have Missoni Wave. So I think this is the only non-clone brand fragrance in this video. So. Pretty cool, right? Clones of, uh, so this is a clone of Versace Pour Homme, Chanel Allure Homme Sport. It's right there in the middle. So I've described this ad nauseum, but I'll run through it really quickly one more time. Chanel is going to be a little bit more sweet from the Tonka bean, a little bit more creamy. It still has the C notes, still has the orange, that sort of thing. The Versace doesn't really have any of that sweetness. It goes much more bright and sparkly and fresh, and there's some Neroli in there, so a little bit of like a, a floral component, a lot of musk, but again, not a lot of uh, sweetness or creaminess or anything like that. This basically takes a little bit from the Chanel, a little bit from the Versace, and combines it. Now, if you have both of those fragrances, realistically, you could just layer them, and I do have both of those, but what I like is that this is just kind of all done for me. It's much more affordable. And again, talking savings here from the Chanel end. It's about on par with the Versace, but again, if I want to get that creamy sweetness, I would have to layer the Chanel over it. And again, if I'm going to be washing this off, if I'm going to be sweating it off in the summer heat, you know, if I'm going to be doing who knows what, and want something cheaper, I can just go with this, and I think that's awesome. Set up another Creed clone next. Just did a review on this one as well, Afnan Highness Green. So, Royal Oud. Uh, 
I love Royal Oud. I think it is amazing, but you can't get it on discounters anywhere now. Not sure what's up with that. I did check the official Creed website, and I do believe it's fully in stock. Whether they're still producing it, that I have no idea. I just find it weird that you can get pretty much every other Creed on basically all of the discounters, but all the discounters are sold out of Royal Oud. I, I just don't know what to make of that. Maybe you guys have some information you can let me know down below. Uh, but what I like about this is now I can really, really savor my two or maybe three bottles of Royal Oud that I have. I think only two of them, which really isn't a lot if it is truly discontinued and I just can't really buy it anywhere. Definitely not buying it at retail. This is Royal Oud with a little bit of a green quality to it, which I love and I think it's really, really nice. Supreme presentation for about $60 online, 60, 62. Really nice one if you're a fan of Creed Royal Oud and you wanna save yourself some money. Up next we have, I believe a newer clone. It just dropped on fragrancebuy.ca and they're kind of the hub for clones. That's kind of the main place that I go when I'm looking to shop for some fragrance clones. They typically have the biggest selection. Now they do sell out often, a lot of them, because they just do, right? They're cheap, people want them, and uh, they just sell out, right? They usually get more, sometimes it takes a while, whatever, and uh, that's why I say subscribe that way. As soon as one of those comes in stock, I post about on my community tab. I'll really help you guys out. This one is Paris Corner uh, Tobacco Vani. So similar thing with Latafa, this is kind of uh, a subsidiary of Paris Corner, so this is Pandora Scents, okay? But on the back, you still see the Paris Corner logo. So if you go on Fragrance Buy and get this, it does say Paris Corner Tobacco Vanille. It's not a typo, it's just technically Paris Corner. But I really like it. Dude has a cigar, right? Tobacco Vanille. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, this is nothing short of impressive. I will be 100% with you. When I was unboxing this one, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I don't know why, because I've had great luck with Paris Corner so far. Maybe it was the bottle when I was looking at pictures of it when I was buying it. Maybe it was the name, maybe it was the price, even though that doesn't matter because a lot of these cheap clones are great. I don't know what it was, guys, but I did not think it was gonna be this good. But holy crap, is this seriously good. It is just about as close to tobacco vanilla as you can get. There's a nice booziness in here, like a boozy bourbon vanilla. This is sexy. There's even like this cola smell, you know, like you get from Roja Enigma. It's got some of that going on, like a fizziness. This stuff is a must have. You got to get your hands on this one. And again, if it's out of stock right now, just keep checking the community tab. It'll pop up again sometime soon. And I would recommend picking up a bottle or two. This might become one of your new favorites. I mean, this is addicting by every stretch of the term. And it's actually been performing better on me than tobacco vanille, which is pretty cool. Second to last, we have Al Haramain Amber Oud Ruby. So look at that beautiful deep red. Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait is what this one's all about. What's the difference? Well, uh, with Extrait and Ruby, they use the addition of almond along with that saffron and, and the other light transparent woods. Uh, the Eau de Parfum of BR540 does not have that almond. And so my recommendation to you is if you want a fighting chance of having a masculine smelling Baccarat Rouge 540, and I'll, again, I'll just be transparent with you, even this is not masculine, it is closer to being somewhat masculine than the original because of the almond. It gives it more depth, more punch, more substance. Some people, a lot of people, myself included, really struggle with olfactory fatigue with the DNA, especially the Eau de Parfum, but the almond gives you a little bit more substance to bite onto, basically, something for your nose to pick up on more. And overall, it's actually easier to smell this one and the extrait because of the almond accord. Beast mode. 12 plus hour scent. This stuff is a powerhouse and it is a must own if you wanna save yourself hundreds of dollars. I mean, this is seriously the way to go. I mean, it's great stuff. Last up, we have Armoff Hunter Intense. This is actually the Eau de Parfum. Kind of a weird situation where they just snuck this out. Started off as an Eau de Toilette. I believe that's sold out pretty much everywhere. So now, if you can see, if I get in there, Eau de Parfum. Fragrance Net has it, usually on clearance for like 20, 22 bucks. Great price which was really the same as actually the EDT as well. And nothing else changed with the bottle. With the scent, I find it to be stronger, richer, and in terms of what this is a clone of, it's kind of one of those hybrid clones. 
basically with this one, you could write down like five or six of your favorite blue fragrances on a piece of cardboard, hang it on the wall, take a dart and throw it at it, and whatever it lands on, this is a clone of. It's basically all of the big major blue fragrances wrapped up into one. A little bit of Invictus Aqua 2016, a little bit of uh, Aqua Atlantique, Sauvage Dylan Blue, a mashup of blues, and I love it, especially when you can get this one for next to nothing, dirt cheap $20 which all of those blue fragrances are pretty much significantly more than that. Dylan Blue, 40. Aqua Atlantique at one point was 40. Now it's gonna be 100 bucks. So if you want a cheap blue fragrance mashup, check this one out and that's why I like it. I'll wear this stuff to the lake, I'll hit it hard, I'll douse myself in it, wearing it to the ocean, to the beach, um, anything, right? Anything outdoors in the summertime where it's gonna get washed off or I'm gonna sweat it off, load down on this. It's awesome to have. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrance clones I can't live without. Impressive stuff. I feel like they're getting better and better as the years go on, and that's pretty cool to see. You could save yourself a ton of money with these, and if money's tight like it is for a lot of us right now, there's nothing wrong with getting some of these guys. Even if you have the originals, but you wanna save a bit of money in the long run, here you go. Links will be down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.